sports fans, welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Car Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's December 16th, 2020, the seventh night of the eight breaks of Hanukkah, and tonight we feel the outfield of the all-Jewish team. Tomorrow night for our finale, we will recap the entire team and close out the eight breaks with Pick a Pack, because everybody loves a Pick a Pack. I'm also going to try to drop that episode with the premiere chat function, so it won't be a live stream, but it will have the chat window open for those who want to hang out, tune in, and chat 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. Synchronize your swatches. All right, let's field them. Playing outfield for the all-Jewish team tonight are super studs. We got Kepler, we got Kepler, and we've got two-time World Series champion, two-time AL MVP, four-time home run champ, Hammer and Hank, Hankus Pankus, Hall of Famer, Hyman Greenberg, also known as Hank. Now, many folks consider him a first baseman, but uh, I didn't know this, and if you weren't in the know, in uh, 1940, after what ownership considered a down power year in 1939, they asked Hank to take a pay cut and move to the outfield, specifically left field, and he countered by saying if he mastered the outfield, he wanted a bonus. By the end of 1940, no biggie, just won his second MVP, first ever player to win MVP at two different positions, straight up studs. Also, just want to show this off, we pulled this in the finest break, number to 25, got that black finest action going on. Very, very cool. Okay, let's break, let's move these fine gents to the outfield. Of course, I had to break out the Ralphie paper one more time because it is the best, and Jews can like Christmas movies as well. Hell, we write most of them along with your favorite Christmas carols. Lucky Cup. Step into the box today. Who we want to see? We got, let's do that. Thurman, Mattingly, Elson Howard. Awesome. All right. Rip it like you're a kid. Ah. Oh, yes. We had to have autos. <laughs> Last year, we pulled a ton. This year, we've pulled none. So we had to get a box that guaranteed autos. I haven't ripped any gallery. Come on now, knife. This year. Uh, and if you were checking, I think I put it on the community tab, uh, an image of this. Picked this up. Uh, It was the only box at Hellmart. It was wearing a chastity belt. Uh, That is uh, a nice security, uh, like, magnet thing. My gosh, come on. That they had it to make sure no one could walk out of the store with it, which, hey, I'm not going to complain about that. Right? Because too many of those pack searchers out there. Uh, I've watched a a few breaks of this, and, uh, you know, of course, always the... Gallery Heritage is a personal favorite, Um, and of course there's some really great artists uh, in Gallery as always, so I'm looking forward to it. See if we can get lucky like we did last year when our uh, one of our autos was a Ken Griffey Jr. numbered to five. Of course, sticker auto, but when it's you know Hall of Famers, you can't really complain. Let's get let's get that first pack mojo lucky cup. I'm excited to see some autos. And this was the other auto, was Max Muncy. We pulled uh, Muncy in our Ginter X. Wow, this must be a new artist. Or is this like a... Matt Stewart is the artist. That is a new artist. So it jumped right out at me because this looks nothing like any of the artists I've seen in other recent years. Aquino, and that's an update, which means it's no. Oh, it should yeah, numbered to two fifty. We are definitely hoping that we pulled a lot of him, so we're hoping that he is gonna rock and roll in twenty twenty one. Nice Devers, modern artists, Elvis Andrews, and there's some of our artists right there: John Jane Casper, Kevin Graham, and Mayumi Seto, who has lost some of her attention. Uh, you know, she did the living set, still does the living set. Mike Talkman. 
had a bit of a down year. Uh, they were expecting, you know, he was going to be this great utility outfielder for the Yankees after the fun year prior, and he didn't quite have the same kind of year, but still a good player. Maybe he needs that beard back. What do we got here? Hashtag KB for the PC. Wow, that's beautiful. I love the background. Yeah, Marcus Stroman. And it's Kevin Graham. Let's give that a little stand. I like this. Uh, like I said, that background's really neat. It's very vintagey. Feels like it's, you know, like a 60s wall panel piece of art or something. Nice. And I know that there are foils in here. You're done! Uh, and I think they do the modern artist in foil, maybe. Um, those are going to look amazing. All right, so we've got two top rookies so far. I feel like this might have an auto in it. It feels a little thicker. Or blue, foil. As I mentioned, Mitch Moreland. All right, not who we were hoping for, but... Yohan Mankata. Who did your, uh, your down here? John G. and Gaspro. All right, we'll keep an eye on these foils. Let's hope we get a little... Was that Judge? Oh, yeah. Not Has not made a lot of appearances uh, in the eight breaks or the Ginter Geek Out. Also, all Jewish team member, eight break. Nice. Who did this? Looks like... Uh, Dan Berger, I was okay. It looks like Dan Berger, who is just a master. Love the work of Dan Berger. Another foil. Oh, be, be Lou Bob. Sean Murphy. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Looks great. Look at that foil. Really, really sharp. Nice smiling Aaron Judge. I want to say that this is actually image reuse. So they painted off of a picture of a different card, Kevin Graham. I'm going to say his Heritage uh, Rookie, maybe? Somewhere in there. That's exactly what it, that smile. Someone else had commented about the image reuse. Top's been doing it forever. Always a lot of image reuse. Also, Matt Stewart. Kutch. Jorge Soler. Correa. Matt Kemp on the Marlins. Definitely not used to him wearing that. DJ Stewart. Boy, the Orioles should be good at some point, although as an AL East fan, right, you're kind of hoping they're not going to be good so the Yankees can keep playing, getting in the playoffs. Hosmer. Oh, we got something neat here. Impressionist. Otani. Andres Munoz. Maz Adams. Not familiar with Maz Adams. Really interesting artwork here. Shout out to Maz Adams. It looks like it's pencil, but very unique. I like that. I, I'm glad they're putting in a few different artists. They definitely had a run there where they were using a lot of the same people over and over and over, so it's cool to see a few new names in there. James Karinchak? All right. There's our first heritage. Nice. Gavin Lux was commenting with Fab Sub Natalie Wu that I think Will Smith is, you know, more likely, I think, going to be a solid, solid player. A little more questioning on Gavin Lux, but let's hope that, coming back here with the other Dodger, let's hope that he uh, does play well. Rizzo. Look at that, with the old throwback uni. That's awesome. The pins, the powder blue pinstripe. Ooh, and Bo Bichette behind it. That almost looks like a caricature. His head looks massive. And I like the splatter paint background. That's Mayumi Seto. All right. Interesting. Chris Sale. Kyle Lewis, another heritage. Very cool. Oh, I didn't even look at the back. Love those vintage backs. Get a little little comic strip action. All right, coming out hot. I'm liking it. I tried to put together the Heritage set from last year. I'm still a few cards uh, missing from that, but that was a really beautiful, beautiful. I um, can't remember the year that was. 64 or something like that had the, the like banner. Yoshi Tezuko! Maybe an auto in here? A foil? Another Aristides Aquino foil this time. 
not numbered. Boy, we got Aquino and the Dodgers owning. Is that Gene Caspro? I was going to say, I can kind of tell John Gene Caspro's work. I think this might be Gene Caspro too, right? Yep. We'll take that. We'll sh let a little, little shine. Let the shine shine. There we go. All right, Lucky Cup. We've had our sip. You like to be in use. I don't think you need to be chastised because these have been some nice pulls, uh, but we haven't seen our auto yet. So I'm hoping that that means we're going to get a great auto out of this. No pitchers, no pitchers, no pitchers. There's the man, Juan Soto. Ooh, right behind him, the other man, Acuna. I really, this is beautiful. Is it the same Josh Trout. I don't think any relation to Mike Trout, but... Really, really, almost photo real. Nice. Also image reuse. Master and Apprentice. More hashtag KB for the PC. Love that. Is that KB? Yeah. I was gonna say, almost doesn't look like him. Almost looks like Ian Happ. Ron Santo. I'm hoping that. You know, we get our vaccine, and everyone's good to go, and we can get back, and I can go back to Chicago and have another trip to Wrigley with Like a Hawk. One of the most fun vacation trips I've ever had, going to the National, going to Wrigley. Just such a, a great time. Nice. Be snow. Another foil. Mike King. All right, we've got a Yankee. We'll take that. Like I had mentioned before, uh, I think Matt Spencer was the one that sent me a couple of his rookie cards. Um, Yankees are, are very hopeful about Mike King. Send him back here with Kepler. They need some of that young pitching right now. Domingo Herman possibly in the rotation. He was good for a brief shining moment. Goldschmidt. I know a lot of people think Goldschmidt. I thought he might have been Jewish. Uh, I think he's got some, you know, like a, a parent or something like that is Jewish, but he's a born-again Christian, so. Nice, KB. Beautiful, beautiful image. I think we got an auto in this one, maybe. Feels a little on the thick side. Kevin Graham. Ooh, it's just one of these. Nice. Roberto Clemente. Who's the artist? Angel Aviles. So another new artist. I wonder if Angel Aviles might be Puerto Rican. I have to look into that. Really nice looking card. You can always count on gallery for nice foil work. So I'm liking. I don't. I don't love the ones that are uh, landscape like this. It just kind of makes it, the names kind of hard to read. But uh, but that's really really nice. I dig that. All right, where are our autos? Come on, now we need one. I mean, it's supposed to be two per box, right? Yeah. That's the shenanigans for you. Tommy Edmund. Carter Kaboom. Uh, shout out there. Uh, I can't remember who, who commented. I, my apologies. I said Kermit the Frog, but you, you are more accurate. I can't remember if that was my man Rolf or somebody else uh, about more like Marvin the Martian. Kaboom! Right? With his little phaser gun. It's a cool Otani portrait. Still no autos. Interesting. It would be pure shenanigans if we got a box that had no autos in it. Keston, can you hurry me now? There's the polar bear. Nice Nolan Ryan. More Kyle Lewis. So, I don't know. There's a little, like, blue mark down here. I don't know what that's about. I thought maybe that'd be numbered uh, as a master's card, but no, nope, no numbering. More Kyle Lewis. Who is this artist? Matt Stewart again. So no Lou Bob. Lou Bob has not appeared at all during the eight breaks. Um, we haven't pulled a single Louis Robert. But definitely got some nice Kyle Lewis. This one feels. Slightly on the thicker side. 
Let's see if maybe we got our auto in here. Put it up on the scoreboard. I don't know where he's going to go. He's got a bat built for Yankee Stadium. Along with Jock Peterson. Brandon McKay. Vladdy Jr. Another nice one there. Carlos Caballero. He's been in uh, gallery before. Well, we're saving, uh, I guess we're saving our hits for the end. Usually you get a number of numbered cards. And we've only seen one so far. Al Tuve. There's our auto, Tommy Canely. So I guess it's a, a Yankee at least. No pitchers, no pitchers though. Whammy. So, I mean, it's a PC hit. Um, can't complain. Uh, shout out, though, to Tops. Well done on... It's just, you know, they're sticker autos, but because they've done a box this year, you really can't tell that it's a sticker. I like that. Do that more often, Tops. Because no one's really big fans of sticker autos. I wonder if they're going to come out back to back. I suppose we were spoiled last year by getting no pitchers in our autos with Muncie and Griff. The kid. Miggy Cabrera. Reese Hoskins. Autos back to back. Two pitchers. Wow, double whammy. I guess that, uh, like I just said, we were due double pitchers after getting no pitchers. Why do I always say no pitchers, no pitchers, no pitchers, whammy? Because pitchers, for the money collectors, they just don't hold their value the same way as position players. That's really the only thing. Um, it's a rookie card, at least. I'm not really mind-blown. Neither of them numbered. Um, so a bit of a bummer on that respect. Uh, that means I hope we're going to get one more numbered card that's really, really good. But we'll see. I'm not overall disappointed in the box, though. Um, you know, nice foil. Nice rookie so far. Tata. Al Tucker. Christian Yelich. Still looking for uh, a Brew Crew fan. I got some nice Yelich cards I'd love to send to a Brew Crew fan. All right, last two packs, and then our topper. Merrifield. Oh, come on, ball. No, 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 no. Different sport, but you feel me. There's Lou Bob and Sevy. So it's not exactly uh, a rookie card, but it is a Lou Bob card along with the Big Hurt, although they almost look the same. <laughs> the Big Hurt should be like almost double the size of Lou Bob. I like that he's got. Now that's interesting, though. Usually it was white with this image, not a black. Or he, I think he just took some artistic liberty here because you got the, the new socks and the old socks right there. Pretty cool, though. I like that. This one feel, does feel a little on the thicker side. All right. Well, Josh Van Meter. Shogo. Last foil, Pablo Lopez, Kraken. Nice Robbie Alomar, Bo Bichette. Well, it wasn't a Griffey out of five. Two pitchers. Maybe we'll get rewarded with a really cool box loader to close out night seven. Oh, Ronald Acuna. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I predict Braves are going to have a really, really good year. Just way, way too many good players on that team. Would be awesome to see another Yankees-Braves World Championship uh, run. That'd be, that'd be pretty great. Well, there we go. Like I said, overall, I think a solid box. Um, you know, a lot of great foil, a lot of solid rookie cards. Autos weren't the best, um, but still a fun break. Like I said, tomorrow, going to be fun. Mark your calendar, set your swatches, all that good stuff. 
Uh, should be a good time to close out the Eight Breaks of Hanukkah. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of tonight. I look forward to reading those. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.